On a different topic, Madam President, last week marked the 50-year anniversary of President Nixon's declaration of a war on drugs. Today, America imprisons a greater share of its population than any nation on Earth. Drugs are cheaper and more easily available than ever, and substance abuse is destroying more American families than ever. The greatest harm has fallen on our most vulnerable citizens, particularly low-income Americans and communities of color. During the first four decades of the Nixon War on Drugs, America's federal prison population grew by 700 percent, and the cost of operating federal prisons exploded by 1,100 percent. Today, nearly half the people in federal prison are locked up due to drug-related charges. We are learning the hard way we can't jail our way out of a public health crisis. In recent years, the Senate's come together on a significant bipartisan basis to, rec to correct some of the gravest mistakes of the war on drugs. I'm grateful to my friend, the ranking Republican member on the Judiciary Committee, Senator Chuck Grassley, for his leadership in this effort. We have been a partnership, bipartisan partnership, that ended up sending the First Step Act a reform movement to President Bush to sign into law. Pardon me, said President Trump to sign into law. Tomorrow, the Senate Judiciary Committee will hold a hearing on another crucial piece of reform, eliminating the disparate treatment of crack and powder cocaine under federal sentencing laws. Congress established this unjust sentencing disparity at the height of the crack epidemic in the 1980s based on fear and mistaken allusions to science. We reduced the disparity with the Fair Sentencing Act, but we didn't eliminate it. Today, a person arrested for 28 grams of crack will receive the same sentence as a person with 500 grams of cocaine powder, even though it's exactly the same drug. This lingering disparity made racial inequities in our criminal justice system even worse, undermined faith in the integrity of our justice system, and worst of all, failed to even curb drug addiction in America. Talk about three strikes. We should eliminate the disparity once and for all. And there'll be a hearing tomorrow.